the great part of doing this thing is every year is a different challenge and it's a new group of guys and you're, you know, you're adding and subtracting. The good news for us is we look at this thing and we feel like we've had, we have more depth than we've ever had, um, really on both ends of the field. We have more options you know, to figure out who our attackmen are going to be. We have more options at the midfield. We have more options you know, on defense and really even in the goal we have a bunch of options. So I'm hoping that the competition that we've kind of created um, with those numbers helps us. It helps us compete against teams like Virginia. It helps us win the CIA. We'd love to play more guys uh, than we played last year and in the last couple of years that we've been here because we think we have more to do it. But, you know, this is a really good group. Ben McIntosh and Jason Clunder have done a really good job as the, as the captains. A lot of seniors that are stepping up and leading this group. Um, there's a lot of young guys, you know, that are stepping up and doing their part and, and being leaders. What we like, the things that we've seen out of the team, um, we're happy with the progress that we've made. We're really looking forward to the challenge, um, and it should be a great season. The first guy you, I think you got to look at is Ben, and you know, just the number of points he had last year, all the things he did, the game-winning goals, you know, all that stuff. Um, he's done a great job. We're expecting him to be um, very good and, and, to, and to be a leader of our team. Nick Trezano and, and Ryan Belka are probably the, new, the next two guys on the offensive end that really step off the page. Ryan's really taken steps since he's been here his freshman year. He was the rookie of the year and had 20-some points as a midfielder. Last year, he was first-team All-CAA and had 40-some. He's a, a huge piece to the, to the puzzle for us, um, and we feel like he can, you know, he can continue to take steps and be one of the best players like he was last year in our league um, and really even on a national level. Nick's an interesting story because I think for the last couple of years, we felt like he could be probably our best offensive player, um, and injuries have really kind of taken their toll on him. So he's a guy that we're counting on um, whether he's an attackman or a midfielder, to be really effective, to be one of the best players in our conference. Um, I think he's a kid that's running under the radar a little bit because of some of, the, some of the injuries, but I think he can be as good as anybody in our league. On the defensive end, I mean, we, we need to be better there. Matt Dusak and Tyler Houchins are guys that, have, you know, that are seniors that have been here and been through the, the wars, and, and those guys got to step up and be leaders and help us get better down there, and, and that's the, the big thing. We've got to get better. We have to play better defensively if we're, if we're expecting to have a successful season. When the goal, uh, we have two guys really competing for, for playing time. Um, you know, Cal and, and, and Gabe both played a, a significant role for us last year, you know, half and half. Um, those two guys are battling it out to, to figure out who the, the starter is going to be, and there's a possibility that they both might play. And then I think the, the other individual that, that did an awesome job last year and, and hasn't got a ton of credit, and it's kind of his position is Nick Saputo at the face-off X. Um, he had a, had a tremendous year last year, um, and we're expecting him to have another great year. And, you know, anytime you're a coach, you can win some face-offs. That makes me look better. So, um, you know, he's going to try to do everything he can. He's working real hard to go out there and get us the ball, get us the possessions um, to kind of fuel our offense. A lot of people have asked me about last season and how we think we're going to be. Um, and last season was really good, you know, and as coaches you always tell people, you know, put that stuff behind you and now we have to focus on this season. I do look back at the season though and, and like worry that every game was so close and, you know, we, we came back and so many wins and, and kind of the stars aligned and made, guys made great plays and, you know, everything kind of worked, worked out for us and, and, you know, we had a great record, we're 11-4. and four. Um, you know, the end of the year didn't go like we wanted it to go, but in general, we, you know, we thought it was a really good year for us. Um, you know, as a coach, you kind of worry that you hope that the, the luck doesn't, you know, fall back the other way and, and, and you, you get bad breaks. So, you know, our guys have been working really hard to, to make sure that doesn't happen. Um, again, I think as a coaching staff, we always try to tell them, you know, you go out and make your own breaks. And to, the, you know, to credit our team from last season, we did that. We went out and we won a lot of close games. Um, you know, we're hoping that we can come out and play well um, earlier in games than we did last year, get, get better starts, and then we don't have to come back in every game. Um, but, you know, we feel good about the kids that are here. We feel good about the things that they've done in the offseason. I hope we all have a little bit of a chip on our shoulder the way the season ended. So I'm hoping that the guys, you know, use that as motivation. The first part of our season is going to be a bear. Uh, there's a lot of really good teams on it. Um, we got to come out and we got to show people who we are. We really feel like we're under the radar. People aren't really respecting us all that much. Um, we got to go out and earn that respect and show people how good we are. Um, and, that, and as a coach, that excites you. Guys are just here strapping on, being a dragon, um, and doing everything they can. And we're, you know, we're going to fight and claw to be the best team in the conference and to go to the NCAA tournament. I mean, those are the, the two rock-solid goals that we've had. Um, we feel like those goals are very attainable. We know we have to work hard to get there, but I think we have a great group here, and I think the guys are going to go work hard and show the, you know, the lacrosse world what we're all about.